Hi, I am Rob, Principal Database Engineer at AWS with the Babelfish Project. In this video, we will take a look at advanced topics of the Babelfish Compass tool, such as how you can customize the assessment reports. Compass is a standalone tool to help determine whether a SQL Server-based application can be migrated to Babelfish for Aurora Postgres. Compass performs a detailed analysis of all SQL features in your application and reports whether they are supported by Babelfish or not. Based on the Compass report, you can determine whether a migration of your application to Babelfish may be feasible. Running Compass is therefore always the first step to take when you are considering a migration. In this series of Babelfish videos, there is an earlier video with an introduction to the Compass tool. That video shows the basics of how to run Compass. It is executed from the command line and you have to specify a report name and the input file name that contains the DDL code to be analyzed. Compass will then generate a report and automatically opens the report in your browser. The assessment report generated by Compass contains a great amount of detail, but perhaps there are situations where you are interested in finding more complex relations. To make this possible, Compass lets you upload all analysis details into a database table in Postgres. You can then perform deeper analysis using SQL queries or tools. To upload the data, use the flag PG import and specify the Postgres endpoint, username and password and the Postgres database as a comma separated string as shown here. The PG import flag creates a table named BBF compass in the public schema and copies the analysis details into it. To append to an existing table, use the flag PG import append. You can specify a different table name with the flag PG import table. Here you can see the output on the screen when running PG import. Note the layout of the table into which the analysis details are copied. For full details of this feature, please see the Compass user guide, which you can download from GitHub. This also contains examples of the type of SQL query that you can run against the uploaded data. There are many more things you could potentially do with these analysis details. For example, you could build additional tooling to help with planning a migration effort. Or you could generate specific statistics about SQL features or combinations of SQL features that are used in your application. Or really, anything else you can think of. Just one word about security. To upload the data into Postgres, you had to specify the username and password for connecting to Postgres. Please note that these are not written to any file and not stored anywhere. They only exist temporarily in the form of environment variables inside the Compass process only. Compass classifies all SQL features as supported by Babelfish, not supported, requiring review or as ignored. As a Compass user, you can override these default classifications with your own, but you can only do this for items that are not supported by Babelfish. In addition, you can modify the group header under which an item shows up in a Compass report. Such customizations are made by editing the file babelfishcompassuser.cfg, which is located in the root of the report directory. Here we see an example of a default Compass report. Let's say we want to reclassify update statistics as ignored, and we want to report it under a section header of query plan impact instead of miscellaneous SQL features as currently. In addition, we want to report the not currently supported functions format and STR under a different section header as well. Editing the Babelfish Compass user.cfg file has to be done in a rather specific format. Basically, you have to find the sections corresponding to the items whose classifications you want to customize. In these sections, you add lines with the default classification and a report group, as shown here. When you then run the analysis again with the flag Analyze, you'll see those customizations reflected in the generated Compass report. To recap, on the left-hand side you see the original Compass report, and on the right-hand side you see the report with those customizations. 
Now, admittedly, the format to edit the Babelfish Compass user.cfg file is a bit abstract. I am not going to discuss this in detail here, but suffice to say that both the Compass user guide as well as the header of the Babelfish Compass user.cfg file contain various examples that should get you started. Please note that you cannot change the section headers in the Babelfish Compass user.cfg file or add any section headers yourself. You can only add lines to the sections that are already in the file. Clearly, this is an advanced feature and it is probably not for everybody. If you are new to Babelfish and Compass, I recommend you don't go here until you have gained some experience. And of course, you have some actual need to customize the report. The Compass report gives you a detailed insight into which SQL features are not supported by Babelfish. And the cross-reference report will tell you exactly where they are. In practice, the question often comes up how difficult it is going to be to work around the few SQL features in the application, which Compass tells us that are not going to be supported by Babelfish. This is a difficult question to answer, but Compass may be able to provide some help. As of the Compass version of September 2022, Compass generates a .csv file, which has a complexity score for each non-supported item. That complexity score can either be low, medium or high. The CSV file is intended to be opened as a spreadsheet. And here you can see an example of what that would look like. In the spreadsheet, interpreting these complexity scores is entirely up to you. You need to add your own formulas to process these complexity scores into something that helps you answer the original question about the migration's complexity. But you have all freedom here. In fact, you can override the default Compass complexity scores by your own. And you do that, again, by adding lines to the Babelfish Compass user.cfg file, as shown here. Apart from low, medium or high, you can also specify a number between 0 and 100. That is, just in case a number would be more convenient in your CSV file than low, medium or high. And here you can see how your customizations would show up in the CSV file. The question that is asked in practice even more often is how much effort this migration will take in terms of person days, or really in terms of money that needs to be budgeted for. Indeed, this is a very relevant question, but unfortunately it is also the hardest question to answer. Quantifying the migration effort really depends on the skills and experience of the people doing the migration work. Imagine a team of seasoned database professionals with decades of experience versus a team of fresh university graduates. As you can imagine, that would probably be a night or day difference. But if you really want, you can define your own effort estimates expressed as a number of minutes, hours or days in a way quite similar to defining the custom complexity scores that we've just seen. And here you see an example of how to add effort estimates to the Babelfish Compass user.cfg file. When you specify such estimates, you will see two additional columns in the spreadsheet. The first one reflects your estimate, and the second is the equivalent of your estimate but expressed as a number of minutes. Now again, you'll need to add your own calculations and formulas to process this further. Now, just a word of warning. The default Compass complexity scores should never be followed blindly. You should always interpret such values against the actual application at hand, as well as validate them against your own experience. Also, any values shown in this video are purely for demonstration purposes. Please don't copy them. Please keep in mind that this is an advanced feature. I think it only makes sense to use this when you have a team with significant experience in Babelfish migrations and you have collected enough data points from actual migration projects to be able to quantify the complexity or effort for the remaining migration items. So, if you are an experienced user of Babelfish and the Compass tool, these advanced features will allow you to be more effective and more successful in applying and using Babelfish. Please download Compass and try it for yourself. And for now, thank you for watching.